So, hey, didn't even hear you come in. Welcome back. Just looking, uh, reading through my service reading. I was looking at pictures in my service manual and, uh, you know, trying to figure things out. This video is going to be a little bit different than the other ones. I've got some parts that I ordered along with the other stuff, some little minor odds and ends. Um, and before I lose those parts, I want to get those in. So <clears throat> we're going to take care of that. Um, and then also, I'm going to dig into the master cylinder for the, for the transmission for the clutch and the slave cylinder and see what's going on there, see if we can get them opened up, see if we've got fluid, and see if we can maybe possibly get lucky and, and they work if we add some fluid or bleed them or whatever. Uh, may dig into the brakes a little bit too, just so that I can order all the parts at once and, and get everything on its way. So let's dig into it. This thing has been bugging the heck out of me because it's all rotted out and it won't hold the rod for the hood, hood prop. So brand new. How does this come out? Just like that, I guess. Wow, I really enjoy the easy tasks, you know, quick and easy, in and out, really makes you feel accomplished, didn't take a lot of effort, those are the best, watch this, let's see here, oh my goodness, it's too tight, oh no, okay, hold on, hold on, a little bit of grease will fix anything. Mm -hmm. Now how are we going to act? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh we are winning. Now I need a new grommet for this piece up here. That's almost more exciting than the heater hoses. All right. Now what? I wonder if we can get that little that plastic bushing in for the accelerator linkage. You even see that? Yeah, right there. That piece is all wallered out. Uh, let's see what we can do. Is there a piece, man? Oh. Uh, I gotta take that back out. Rude. Alright. Well. Here we go. There it is. Hmm. I'd say it's lived a life. Yeah, it's time. Let's do it. How did that go on? Oh, this way. Yep. Okay. 
Wait, we gotta pop this into here. Oh, we're gonna need more grease, huh? How in the world? Mm -mm. Nope. Mm. Don't be like that. Be nice. Well, we know if we get it in, it ain't coming out until it looks like the old one. We got her. It is snug. All right. This. Let's uh, go ahead and put some grease on that too. Why not? A little dabble, do you? Oh, man. Oh. Yikes. What's really going on here? Almost there. Almost there. Almost. Still almost. There it is. Boom. Okay. Now this is the tricky part. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's. Why? Why? Ooh. There it is. There it is. Okay. Well. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if I pulled the air cleaner off, but we don't have time for that. Really? Well, is that how it goes? There and then I think so. <clears throat> Why? 
There we go. Yep, that's it. Come here. Can't see nothing. Did it go in? Nope, it did not. Mm. Let's try this. That's going to fall. That's going to fall. Come on. Come on. It's not that difficult. Guess what? I got it. That wasn't the one I said was going to fall. Okay. Well, why? Why? Okay, just do that. Boom. Oh my goodness, that's nice. That is nice, yo. I am a big fan of that. Man, this is uh, almost a show car at this point. Okay. Got some new grommets for these. We just put them in now. Oh, these are going to be a blast. These are going to be a blast to put in. I can't wait. Mm. I don't think it's. I don't. Not like this. I'm gonna have to pull that cable back. Yep. Nope. That ain't gonna work. I'm going to pull this cable back into there, pop this in if even possible then, and then jam it back in. Um, time is it? I don't know. Try that one over there. goodness oh my goodness gracious probably help to heat these up a little bit but See what this does. Oh, 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 oh. one down, two to go, you know. Oh. That one. Gotta disconnect that wiring. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 
Well, let's put that back through and see how she seals up. Is it coming through? Huh? You see it? Okay. Okay. There it is. Stop it. All right. There's that. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Need to make that bracket. Okay, what about the choke? What's that going to take? This one's not awful yet. Not too worried about that one. That one for the starter switch and this one for the choke were pretty toasted. Nice. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay. okay, we have a new cigarette lighter that uh, we are going to attempt to wire up in here. <clears throat> so, let's do that. Look at this. Look at my new keychain. Huh? Sweet. Same car. All right, wrong key, right key. Okay, so I'm going to wire this thing up. This car, like we've said, is a positive ground system. And so I'm assuming, you know what they say about that, that I'm going to bond this to the ground of the car, and then this will go to the ignition. I'm going to wire this up so that it's on when the key is on, not all the time. <clears throat> may change that later, but if I do it that way, you know, if something gets left plugged in, it won't um, drain the battery over time. So that's how I'm going to do it. So let us see here. I need to figure out, well... Yeah, first I need to figure out what's hot on the ignition when the key is on. So, let's do that. We did this before, but I don't know because I didn't write it down. You know? That's too much work. Oh, if I go there. I believe that. Yep, yeah, that's constant hot. Okay, cool. 
So if I turn this on, that's the dude we want right there. Ten four, same one that feeds the radio. That makes sense. So okay. Well, let's do this. And I got a wire here that I need to cap off that's hot all the time. I could have used that, but I don't want that thing energized all the time. So let's uh, cap that one. I don't know what that's for. Maybe that was originally for the cigarette lighter and that's how they had it wired up, but that's not how we're going to do it. No way. All right. I'm going to disconnect the battery just to be safe and we'll get this wired in. Oh my goodness. All right. Battery's disconnected. Let's see here. Go ahead and just. Put a fork on this now. Why is that? It needs to be pinched out. Oh, if that goes there. And then we put this right there. That should work. Keyword should. That should be good there. Now. We need a ground. Well, if that thing's screwed to this, then it should be good. It'll make contact right there. Let's try it. Mm, this car is not the easiest thing to get in and out of for a somewhat tall guy. Okay, one of these. Mm-hmm. So that should go there. Hold on a second. Hold on. I knew. I knew. I was paying attention. These should be big enough. Yep. That's good and tight. All right. 
let's uh crank it up see what happens and now we wait If it's not hot in 10 minutes, just wait longer. Nope, too impatient. Nothing? Oh. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, I can hear it. There she is. Smoking hot. Literally. That's nice. Hmm. Why is it smoking? Man, that thing works good. Ordered that with the other parts from Metropolitan Pit Stop. Very cool. Fits right in with the car. Good deal. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to cap that one wire because that won't be good if that shorts out. All right. I'm tuck that up here. Out of sight, out of mind. Sweet. Right on. The dash is back to where it should be. Except for a couple things. I don't know what this does. This is a switch they had wired to nothing. I don't know what that was for. Need a new water temp gauge. This lock, I have the cylinder for this. But I need the little Allen screw that holds it in so that'll be part of the next order otherwise that's good need to clean the gum wrappers out no time right now all right sweet success check it out Everything's back to the way it should be. No more push button, original ignition, second ignition. Now we have pull start cable, original ignition, and light switch combo, and cigarette lighter, just the way it should be. So that's awesome. All right. I am going to see. If I can get this cover off, which looks like it's been off before. We've got a screw missing here. We've got a different type of screw here. See if we can get to the master cylinder. And maybe, maybe, we're just low on fluid. And that's why the clutch does nothing. You know? Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we don't. But either way, we're going to find out. Ooh, a little bit of this. Can't hurt, right? Eh, maybe it can. See how many of these we can strip out. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Last one. Wow. Okay. 
What do we got? All right. Okay. What's what? We're going to need a new gasket. I think I have that on the list already. Basically, I want to look in here, see if we need any parts. We do what those parts are so I can place an order and get that on its way. I'm not sure. It's one of these for the brakes and one is for the clutch. Okay. This one is for the clutch. All right. Oh, oh, that's just a rubber cap. Use only castrol sterling fluid. Use only astral curling, grueling, curling fluid. Hmm. Does this thread on? Surely that threads on. We don't have any brakes either. I'm assuming this is for the brakes. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sure. Let me show you what we got. All right. So we have two master cylinders. I'm assuming this is for the brakes. This should be for the clutch. This says use only castrol. Looks like girling, maybe curling. No, that's G, but that's a C, girling fluid. Hmm. What does this one say? Use girling, curling, brake fluid. So, this is for brakes, this is for a clutch. So, you see if I can get those off of there and see what kind of situation we got going on inside. Okay. Well, it's not empty. Pushing air bubbles. Pushing a lot of air bubbles. What does that mean? Where is it pulling air from? How does that work? It's not leaking. <clears throat> I just got a little bit of back pressure on the clutch and I pushed it. Something broke free. Possibly the, is there a slave cylinder on here? Um, and then it stopped bubbling backwards and the clutch pedal came back by itself. Is that a good thing? Okay, it's still bubbling, but... Not bubbling as much. Hmm. 
there are zero leaks under the car. Nothing leaking. Maybe it just needs to be bled out. Well, let me take a gander at my service manual real quick. I'll be back. Okay. We've got some odds and ends done on the car, some small things. Uh, wanted to do that before I lost the parts that I had, you know, because I'll do that. And uh, that's awesome to have those little things done and wrapped up. So I've got to order some more parts, a lot more parts, um, rebuild kit for the fuel pump, for both master cylinders, for the slave cylinder on the transmission. And then, and some other odds and ends, um, a few parts to tune the tune the engine up, run a little better. This thing is incredibly hard to start. Well, not hard to start, but it takes forever to get gas up to the carburetor. And I think that that fuel pump is just so worn out from sitting that it's not holding the vacuum, the pressure, whatever you want to call it holding the gas in the line from going back into the tank. So rebuild that, fix that issue. <clears throat> the uh, Rebuild the master cylinders and uh, should be good on the clutch, I'm hoping. And then we'll see if we can bleed the brakes, see how they look, and we'll go from there. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the comments and the interaction there, all the suggestions, tips, everything that you guys give me. Uh, it really helps. So please continue to do that. Thank you for watching again. The next video which should be quite a bit more exciting than this one. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do uh, replacing those master cylinders. I don't know how long that's going to take or what's involved. I mean, it looks fairly simple, but you never know until you get into it. Um, so, yeah, we will. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.